And I need you to get rid of the undesirable, the element that undermines the sense of the revolution. Fear will help them think more rationally, to believe in its message. You must bring peace to the capital city, even if that means blood. And what about legal equality? Justice? Terror is nothing but swift justice. He does not seem like a pleasant guy. Welcome back everybody to the 18th episode. In the last episode we murdered that girl we've been conspiring against. And we now entered Act 2 after losing our first battle. Monsieur le judge, there's a tragedy two streets away. People are calling for a judge. Orders are orders. The guard hurriedly leads you to the crime scene where you see a crowd of furious people. They've surrounded several armed soldiers who are trying to repel the civilians from two men facing the wall. You soon learn that Commander Francois Henriot has, in absentia, ordered the execution of felons who tried to steal the weapons from a military transport. People are demanding your intercession and a fair trial, but it would be unwise to contest the order of a commander, especially one elevated by your actions. Now there's any need to be shot or order the man to be freed. I want to be, I don't want him freed, but I do believe in fair trial. But Horio will be really pissed. He'll be, he'll be pissed and I kind of don't want him to shoot me in the back. That would, that would not be nice. Um, but there are angry people. You know what my sense of justice says? They need, they need a fair trial. We'll free him. Uh, this is kind of bad for us because we were already tapped out. So the common folk endorsement plus X doesn't give us anything. People not with approval. The confused soldiers eventually listen to you and take the men to jail. However, do not delude yourself into thinking there will be no consequences for you, even if another judge is assigned to their trial. Someone will have to pay for the damage done to the commander's reputation. Yeah, that's that's a problem. That is a problem, and it will probably be me. Um, that's actually scary. That, that is scary. Uh, Comfort endorsement plus six doesn't help us even. So we lost endorsement of three. And we pissed off the commander. That's not gonna be good. Alright, and we have a new guy here. We are still capped out at 20 here. We are at 17 here, so pretty high. We need to increase the aristocrats a little bit, though, if somehow possible. Common folk and aristocrat want to see a dead person, and the revolutionaries want to see the acquittal. How much? Uh, it honestly doesn't really matter. I think we lose about, about the same amount, no matter what we pick. Just matters who we lose it from, but honestly, one of the two is going to be tapped out anyway. So there's no way, no reason to vote strategically. Our family also isn't interested in the case. Good relations with father, hierarchy, rumors. Wait, what's that? Rumors are going around that you are a drunkard and a gangler. Nothing new, however, people are starting to think less of you. Influence, common folk endorsement, revolutionary endorsement, and reputation. Did they start again? For two turns. Culture revolutionary rumors. Is the revolution his enemy? A fishwife yelled. Okay. Okay. But it's not too bad. And supply problems. <laughs> been pro well, th this act starts with a few quite negative things, but all together we still look like this. So we're actually fine. We are fine. Let's look at what this is. The case file is done about Pierre Daquin. He's uh, accused of theft, fraud, and treason. Isaac Medelsheim, a 53-year-old Jewish widower, runs three Parisian inns and grants loans for a living. His daughter, 16-year-old Esther Medelsheim, assists him. The trademan describes himself as a zealous supporter of the revolution, as he believes that though uh, through it, Jews will finally be granted the same rights as other citizens of France. Due to the current shortages of food supplies across the city, his primary source of income is usury. Middlesheim is suspected of having stolen military supplies with the intention of selling them in his inns. The alleged crime was witnessed by Count Jean-Philippe de Bro, one of the Middlesheim debtors. He notified the authorities that late in 
That late in the evening on Saturday, 12th September, he watched Isaac Mädelsheim personally managing the unloading of vehicles that belonged to his cousin, Herz Mädelsheim. As they were standing in front of his warehouse, everyone knows that Herz only provides supplies for the French army and that his managers are frequently guests at Isaac's inns. The investigators found military dress stamped by Herz's Mädelsheim's company in Isaac's warehouse. Their contents, wine, dried meat and flour, were not mentioned in the inventory. They appeared, however, in the way bills of the garrison in Reims. The record shows that Esther Mildesheim is responsible for the inventory. Isaac Mildesheim was immediately arrested and accused of stealing from the French army and acting against the best interests of France. Evidence, the statement of Esther Mildesheim. Alright, so basically they're saying he stole food from the military. Um, let's not keep, forget that it was one of his debtors uh that started all of this so he might be set up here we don't know about it Jewish merchant and that would be his personality but this time personality doesn't exist uh method ah it's a trap okay esther's testimony is evidence no what the hell Inventory is evidence. I am struggling this time. Military chests are evidence. The merchant's warehouse is the crime scene. Unloading of vehicles is cause of events. Uh, this also is cause of events. Okay. Support of the revolution. Method? Yeah. Inventory is gonna be method? And method. Okay. I don't think this makes any sense, but we'll go with it. Jewish leech! Gilbert Bourgeois! Please introduce yourself. Isaac Middelsheim, Monsieur le Judge. He accused of stealing the property of the French army and attempting to sell it. What theft, Monsieur le Judge? What crime? We have a witness who saw everything with his own eyes. That is slander, Monsieur le Judge, and provocation made up by Count de Bro. He owes me money and doesn't want to pay it back. The military chests found in your wells, filled with supplies intended for the garrison in Rem, are quite conclusive evidence against you. I can explain. Well, how about you do that for me? How many workers? Why did they find... Yeah, let's start with this. Explain that. I bought those chests empty. Hell sells high quality military chests for the same. Uh, same, I could pay the inferior equivalent. How could I not buy them? Is that illegal? Does the army not need them? I have no idea. If Hell sells them, it must be fine. You did not think to ask? Where am I, an investigator? He assured me it was fine. Insolent bourgeois. Jews always lie. Silence! Um. Again, I don't care which way it goes, so go on the witness. Let's start with the witness, because I don't I, I wanna know if he's believable. Esther Middlesheim, the daughter of Oh wait, the witness is the daughter? I thought it was the debtor. Are you able to testify? I can see that you are unwell. Yes, yeah, so I will manage. Describe your duties in your father's company. I'm responsible for the inventory and the accounts of our debtors. Why did you not list the inventory of the goods that were stolen in the military chest? Mr. Le Judge, since my house has declined, I've neglected my duties and unfortunately forgot to include those goods in the books. I urge a week to hold a pen. I get tired quickly, lightheaded. It is hard for me to work. Or maybe you did not want to be part of your father's crimes. The food was delivered by our regular suppliers, Marcel Rosier. I did not note the goods down and that is my fault alone. What do you know about the charges brought against your father? They are based on the list lies of Count de he owes my father 400,000 francs and does not want to pay it back. But you probably know the Monsieur le Judge, since you two know each other well. Wait, I know Monsieur de Count de Bro? I call the witness to order! Count de Bro himself referred to his relationship with Monsieur le Judge directly before the trial. The judge has a bet with counter revolutionaries! Are you able to prove those insinuations? Unfortunately, one thing, nothing no more than my own words, and a strong belief that I am in a place where justice must prevail. My father is not guilty. He legally purchased both the chest and the goods. Let the witness out. You know, you should not accuse me of counter-revolution if you don't have any proof. Um, how many employers work in the warehouse? 
Why were the chests for us for the girls? You did not include the good stored in the chests. Yeah, let's ask him. Uh, to conceal the fact that they came from a litter of supplies, am I right? I purchased them legally, Monsieur Le Judge. You can check it yourself. The books are carefully kept. This must be a mistake. No, they aren't. And you you know that they aren't. The court has checked. The goods are not mentioned in the inventory, which leads to even bigger uh, suspicions, as the books were indeed neatly kept in the past. My daughter Esther is responsible for the books. She has been extremely ill recently and probably just forgot. Maybe you did not tell her about the goods because you did not want her involved in your crime. If you were not thief, the girl wouldn't have been left alone. There was no crime, she must have planned to write it down later. I'll stand up and kick his arse, I swear. Um, yeah, why would the vehicles belong to the main supplier of the French army? Herz Middlesheim, uh, standing in front of your warehouse. They were getting ready to continue on their journey. The manager of my cousin Herz likes to stop at my inn whenever their route allows it. And it just so happens they were delivering the same kind of goods found in the military chest that were also matching the military record, matching the military records, and were not included in your inventory. I know it sounds strange, but rappers lying tongue out. Um, we know this. We know it's the daughter. Well, the uh, chest filled. With goods. Our army is not the only party buying wine and dried meat. The chests were filled with goods purchased from my supplier, Marcel Rosier. He can confirm it. Marcel Rosier cannot confirm anything, so you probably already know he was found dead last week. Monsieur the Judge, this is the first time I've heard about it. What a. How convenient it is to blame a dead man. Maybe to you, but I've lost my main supplier. You did not know about Rosier's death. Not at all. The whole thing was plotted by my debtors. They want to get rid of me. As they should. It's a plot hatched by my debtors, and I demand justice. Um, how many people work for you? Five, but they're all, all sluggards and idlers. How can I explain that even though you have five people working for you, and you are Jewish, you were personally unloading chests on the Sabbath? Herz's manager, Jacob, ordered him to quickly unload the chests because he wanted to hit the road. I rushed to the warehouse, but it was late, and none of them, good for nothings, were working. So you decided to neglect your own religion? The Sabbath is the Sabbath and the business is business. I could have refused, but then I would have lost money. Times are hard. They did not arrange the whole thing to avoid any witnesses. Witnesses? Of what? The unloading? Or the theft of military supplies? There were no military supplies. This is a huge misunderstanding. The lying rat. Do we know the answer to that? Okay, let's think about this. What is more likely? That he really bought chests that were being sold for some reason we don't know didn't write it down at all and um uh and then unloaded it himself without any people and his daughter didn't write it down it's it's weird it does smell fishy and the only person who could confirm his story is that but it could be a setup by the ditches we don't really know right we don't really know um, I'm struggling here. I, I, I don't know what to believe. The evidence... I mean, they did find the supplies in his basement with the stuff from the military base. Like, it matches, it said. It said it does match uh, Rams. Uh, well, let's go through the uh, both of those questions. What do you think about the revolution? How could I not support it uh, when the kind of citizens of France want to grant Jews the same rights they have? And why are you harming the revolution by stealing military supplies? I offered my own money for the revolution, Monsieur the Judge. Ask the friends of Mr. Robespierre, Mr. Joseph Fouche, and Mr. Antoine Simon. They will confirm it. You pay to pretend to be one of us. People like me do not benefit from supporting the revolution. Benefit? So you're saying that you supported the people to gain money? No, no, I can't explain. Give to us, well, they could him even without a guilty. Gain money, if they really stole those articles, which I didn't know, and sold them in my inns, I would not even get back what I gave to Mr. Robespierre's friends. It was responsible, we know it's the daughter. My daughter is the Monsieur Le Judge. She's the, the only person who can access this. I take a glance at it sometimes, but I would never get my daughter in trouble. So do not look over your own books. I trust as I do myself. However, this time, the goods were not noted down. That's a trivial thing. Execution will be a trivial thing. The people actually want to let him go. Did they? No, he did not. Was it counter-revolutionary? Well, if it was true, it would have been. 
What did Middlesham say about the informer that he's now that he's his debtor? And are you um are they defending the plight of the army relatives? Yes, they have the same name. They they have the same name. I'm going to assume they are. Um The jury wants to let him go. And honestly, I don't really I can't I can't really make it up. But the jury seems to rule in question for for the defendant. And because I'm I'm not really convinced that he's guilty. Like is, he probably is though. But I'm not really convinced. So we could do this. We we could acquit him. Yeah, let, let, let's kill one person less. How about that? Let's let, let's let him go. Dutchman Fiesig Middlesheim is not guilty. Take the defendant away. I formally object the verdict. They let a thief walk free. He is a counter-revolutionary. The judge was caught. Here we go. I was, there, I was there for freedom. Let's uh, end the day here. Now, the day actually will probably go on. There will still be after day stuff, but end the... Is that like a chess piece of his own son? Why? Why would you burn it? Is an action. I don't think we need to support the construction of the statue, right? I'm actually not sure. We forgot to check last time. Um, let's go for an evening stroll. Daddy won't like it, but they will both go positive from it, I think. And he might still be positive after it. Oh, he actually only goes down a little bit from it. He only goes down a little bit. He goes up quite a bit. Uh, I wasn't enough for her, but both of them are basically maxed out. Like, they're really high, so it's okay. Um... He's taking over that. They will take over this. He will scout that. Oh, wow. This is production plus four. That's actually pretty big. What is the statue has reached another level of demand. You can see another, another building. Now, that's nice, isn't it? What do we have here? Revolutionary patrol. That's nice. That means he needs to leave. <laughs> He'll go here. He should win that fight, actually. He should win this. And how about we use him to reduce the fervor here? And the bruiser will have fight them. He can't flee anyway. And I can't support him because he's filled it up. So I can't move anyone in. So, and they're just diplomats, but it's still three versus one. So he will get hurt. He will get hurt here. Um, we will reduce the fervor, which is nice. And we will probably kill this diplomat. Let's go here. We need to play the hideout of the political statute. Um, saloon. That will help your agents operate more effectively around Paris or actions can by your buildings will facilitate your work at the court. I'm gonna go for the hideout. I'm not really scared of the court. I think that's, we can make our good decisions there. I, the map of Paris kinda scares me. So I think I would prefer to buy this. How do I buy it? Why, why, why can't I seize the building? Here we go. Uh, oh, it still needs a little bit of time. The non patrol will arrest the nearest enemy agent or send the musketeers. During the next time, that will go to the nearest enemy section inside the right. No, we'll denounce. We, we do have some points, so we might as well do this and get rid of the enemy agent. Also, that will keep the revolutionary patrol busy because it will now do something for us. Um, so yeah, that will be nice, I think. Let's have a quick look here. We need to reach 6% and right now we're growing at 4% per turn. So we will need 
Gee, five turns and we have seven so we'll actually we'll be doing fine here let's go to the next day assuming we don't lose any more regions obviously good morning citizens you did not hurry here, did you? A long night. Citizen Robespierre, to what do we owe the... Vendée, there was a rebellion. What? Who started it? People. Traitors. They are yelling that they have had enough of the terror, of the revolution. Some say they want bread. Others, that the clergy continues to oppress the people. And there are those who shout, to hell with Robespierre's terror! You speak too freely, citizen. Enough with the lenient verdicts! Enough with indulgence! I will deal with Vendée myself, but I need the situation in Paris. And I need you to get rid of the undesirable, the element that undermines the sense of the revolution. Fear will help them think more rationally, to believe in its message. You must bring peace to the capital city, even if that means blood. And what about legal equality? Justice? Terror is nothing but swift justice. He does not seem like a pleasant guy. He actually seems like quite a dick. Archbishop Jean-Baptiste Gobert was the one who made the decision on the death of your child. He should be your next target. Really? How, how do you know that? But thank you for informing me. Uh, let's have a... So this dude decided to kill my child. But why? What, what was his point in killing my child? I understood, would have understood some of the people if they wanted him dead. But this? Okay. Um, I think we're going to make a quick cut here and I'm going to see you on the next episode, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope the next episode will be even better. Have a good one, everyone. Bye-bye.